Hey guys, and I'm going to show you how to groom and tack up a pony. But first thing you need to know about horses. Never st stand behind their bottom, they will kick. Never ever put your fingers in their mouth, they will bite you. <laughs> Never ever lie under them, they will step on you. But let's just get on with the grooming. So, these bands right here are called plaiting bands. This is called a hoose pick. We'll get this trim. This is called a dandy brush. Flips all of the dirt out. This is called Hoose Oil, a goat brush. Now the thing about this is it's really, really soft and it's made of goat's hair. That's why they call it a goat brush. But they um, use this from goats, but I don't know where any goats are around the stables. So. This is called a scraper get all of the excess water off. You use it to scrape horses down with water. This spray is for horses hair. This one is for horses body. Some shampoo or some conditioner. So now I'm gonna grow my pony and his name's called Teddy and I think he's only um, 12 or 11 years old so let's just get on maybe I'm just like, going to do some braids in its hair so the first thing we're going to do is use dandy brush to flick all of the dirt off him because he's really really dusty all dirty so he's been rolling around all in the mud all in the dirt so let's flick all of that off why I'm standing behind the, his bottom because he knows I'm here because he knows I'm here because I'm talking and it's just really really good that I'm talking so he knows I'm here but never go behind their bottoms when they don't know you're there because they will kick you it is like so hard never put your toe like that near the horse because I've had um 15 year old horse stand on my toe but it didn't hurt that much, but. Now we're finished with the dandy brush. We're going to be using the body spray. We might even be able to give him um, a shower, but can I just tell you something about this? Never ever spray too much on their back. Their saddle might slip off, so never spray too much. And it's also good for flies, because I don't know if it stops flies from going <laughs> on them. It's just this, Teddy. And it also makes them smell really nice. Now I'm going to get the goat brush and brush all of that spray in. And I can also smell something really nice and it's this pony teddy. Because it makes them smell really nice. This picks up some of the dirt from the horses when they've been rolling all around in the mud, in the dirt. 
he really likes this because he likes soft things. So we got him a soft nose band and a soft one to go around his ears. So this is the main one. I'm going to spray it all over his mane, all over his tail to make it all nice and nice and smooth. And his mane's getting really, really smooth. I don't want to spray it on his fringe because I'm scared it will get in his eyes. I'm going to spray it over here. I'm gonna spray the tail. Now I spray the mane. So let's get the tail. This tail needs to be really, really, really smooth. Some of this tail is quite curly because there was a fish tail in his tail. What I find easy is is section by section. Oh, this is funny. So when I put him back into the field yesterday, he was bucking and bucking and bicking. He was shaking his bum. It was so funny. It was like he was bucking someone off. He felt free. He was like, I'm free. Teddy is just standing here, like he's going to get ridden. So I've just noticed he's got a bit of a muddy belly. We're going to brush that because he did a roll in the field when I put him in the field. So now I'm just brushing his legs with the dandy brush. Now we're going to hoose it. Now, never use this bit to pick because it isn't strong enough, but always use the metal bit. Never use it near their eyes, near their body, or near their bottom. Again, I think they will kick. You've always got to be facing the bottom or the tail when you're doing this. Now you always need to remember to pick their things, their, their hoofs. But I'm going to tell you what is this. So this bit down the middle is called the frog. Always use this bit to pick around never go on that bit right there always go around it again you always need to be facing and just to remind you there's also a frog on the back too you have to make sure there's no stones or mud in there every single day or every single week. So now I'm going to be plaiting his mane and this little tiny bucket is really helpful. It's easy like to put the bands on his back or her back or whatever kind of boy or girl pony that you have. You always need to start with, if you don't know how to plait, I will do another video how to plait. But this is how you plait. So you get this one, put it in, this one, put it in, put this one in, put this one in, 
put this one in, but just we'll keep on repeating the same steps. These sections always just we keep on repeating the same step, that's what you'll need to do. If you don't have a real pony, well this is how I started setting. I have um, a few um, pretend horse ponies and for the first time when I was three I started platting. So we um, are going for the whole mane and the whole tail to do platting. And she's just going to look so cute. And as you might have not known, everything that I'm using is hot pink, baby pink, all sorts of colours. So he's starting to look really cute and adorable. So after this one, we'll just have one more lap to do on this side but we still need to go for the other side so he has hair on each side of his body not like grown up horses because they have bigger necks and longer necks because his neck is like from here all the way to here but a horse's necks are like that long look at the size from this neck that's how big his neck is, but look at the size of a grown-up horse's neck. They are huge. Now all of this is going to be out your way, Teddy. How do you think of that? Good? Because normally Teddy's fringe is all over the place. So... He doesn't normally get his fringe all out of the way, but he's giving it today because he has a very big fringe. So now the finishing touches. We're going to put gold glitter hoof oil on. Let me see. There is the glitter. Looks like a galaxy. Let's get putting it on you. And it also makes the... It's not coming out very well. It also makes their hoofs look very, very shiny. Yeah. And it's, it makes the hoofs look so shiny, look. Did that one. Very shiny. And the hoofs might be a little bit dusty, but this makes them look quite black. This is the final look, and I'm really happy how it turned out. And he looks so 